everybody. Um, Lorraine got with me and said, hey, would you mind sharing your Young Living business side um, with everybody? And I said, sure. Um, she's like, make sure you tell your struggles. We don't want it to be all sunshine and rainbows. <laughs> so has my journey been hard? Yes. <laughs> um, am I going to quit? No. <laughs> am I going at a different pace than it seems like everybody else is going? Yeah. But if um, I don't quit, then um, at least I'm not going backwards. I'm moving forwards in some form or fashion. <laughs> so um, how I got started with the Young Living. Um, the kit seemed like a lot of money. It was 150 bucks, And at that time, I just didn't have 150 bucks to blow on something that I wasn't quite sure about in the first place. Right? Most people are like that. Well, um, I bought the kit and I started using it right away. And I loved everything that I was making, be it, you know, laundry detergent, soap, pan soaps, cookies, recipes. I liked it in my water. Um, my kids liked it. We liked the diffuser. It was helping us sleep. It was just making everything better in our household. And I just was like, wow, this is like the best kept secret. How do people not know about this? And... <laughs> Um, so that all happened within a month and I was all excited about it. So Lorraine caught on to the excitement. It's like, just have a class. I was like, whoa, 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 back up. No, I'm not doing this crazy pressuring people to buy stuff. That's not me. She's like, no, just share. She's like, you don't even have to teach it if you don't want. I'll come teach it. Um, she's like, but all you have to do is just share with them why you like it. She's like, you know, if it's a, your best kept secret, <laughs> if this is, if Young Living's the best kept secret, um, why don't you share it with your mom and your sister? And I was like, well, I guess, you know, my mom and my sister aren't going to think I'm crazy. So, oh, sorry. So I had a little party and I invited my mom and my sisters and a couple of my other friends. Only people that showed up was my family. <laughs> and um, I was a little unsure because I didn't want to be pushy and I didn't want people to feel sorry for me. Like, buy this because I had a party. No, I didn't. I didn't want it to be like that. Um, anyways, my, we had a class and, um, just like I was unsure about it, my mom was unsure about it, my sister was unsure about it, but they were willing to give it a try. Good Samaritans that they are to try to help me out, right? Well, you know, Lorena told me, hey, you know, if you get three people to sign up, you done paid for your kit. <laughs> I was like, well, okay, that's pretty good. <laughs> I get a good product plus I get it paid for sweet yeah that's what I'm talking about <laughs> so I was I was excited about it um, I ended up signing up my mom and my sister and um, later on I'd signed up a friend and so I was able to pay off my kit and I was excited about it um, then my sister wanted to have a class and I was like uh okay and Lorraine's like why don't you help her out we'll, we'll go over there and have a class for her and I was like uh well, I don't even know these people She's like, all you're doing is sharing why you love it. I was like, okay, well, I guess that won't be hard. So we drove there to my where my sister lived. It's about an hour away, and she hosted a class. It took off like crazy. People started buying it like crazy, and I was like, wow. And all these people ended up being in my downline. My OGV was going up, and it was just... But my excitement... And my sister got excited about it and her sharing it is what helps take something off. When people realize that it works, it just takes off. And so my OGV started climbing and I, so I started having more classes for her and more classes for me and helping other people around have classes. And my OGV just started climbing. And the next thing I knew, I have my upline congratulating me on my next drink, which was kind of exciting. You know, my name got recognized and... Um, and you know the next month and I think you know the next month I hit the next drink and so it went pretty quick and then the month after that um, I think it took me maybe two more months or something and I hit executive so most of you know that you start off you know as a distributor and then you hit star senior star and an executive and then once you hit executive um, you have six months within six months if you hit silver then you get that aroma share complete well, when I hit executive, I was like, hey, this is going really quick. I've got a good chance at that kit. So I started having classes. And my GV was climbing all the time. I was like, man, this is great. This is wonderful. And 
I was focusing on that kit. I wanted that kit, that big Aroma Share Complete kit that has tons of oils in it. Well, um, March, this past March was need. I needed to hit um, silver by March in order to get the kit. Um, two months before March hit, um, I had a leg that started falling apart, and you know, Lorraine caught on to it. You know, like, hey, this is falling apart. We need to, you know, get another leg going or something. And so I really started getting discouraged. And I really started getting down. And the whole, in the middle of that, my husband got a new job. We were moving to a new place that was several hours away from all of my oily people. And I was getting really nervous and really hesitant. And most people, I am that worry ward. I am that person that freaks out that this isn't going to work out because the worst possible thing in the world is going to happen. Yeah, that's me. So I, I just second guess myself quite a bit. And Lorraine stepped in and she made... Um, that happened. We hosted a huge beauty class and tons of people stepped up and wanted to try the beauty products that Young Living has and I ended up getting silver that month and I was so excited. Um, but you know that next month? <laughs> we didn't, my leg was still falling apart. <laughs> Even though we were able to get that leg up and work at it, um, it just it fell apart and I was pretty discouraged and I only hit executive that next month. And so you're the next point in the story, you're like, oh, she's going to hit silver next month, right? Nope. You know what? I still haven't hit silver. Um, I'm in a new area. Things are going not as great as I want, but am I giving up? No. <laughs> but all of my hard work that I've put forward, at least my goal in the beginning was to pay off my kit and to pay off the oils that I was buying every month. Am I doing that? Yeah, I am. And <laughs> it's been nice. Um, I, I have enjoyed it. Um, but when the business gets going and you get caught up and trying to get to that next rank, you start comparing yourself to people in the business. And I started being, you know, like, well, that person hit, you know, Royal Crown Diamond in a year and a half. That's just, I can do that. I can do that. And so I start following that person. I want to be just like that person, just like that person. And I'm not just like that person. Um, and so you get discouraged. I got discouraged again, you know, well, maybe I'll pick a different person. I can be like that person. And that's a great and all to copy their methods. But at the same time, you've got to bring your own self out. You've got to do your own thing because the only person that's good at being you is you. And I was like, well, that's true. So if I can be good at being me, why can't I be great? So all in the method of don't quit, just keep going. It doesn't matter how slow you go. It doesn't matter how fast you go. Just quit comparing yourself to everybody else and be the best you that you can be. And you work hard at it. If you want it, you work hard at it. You, you get on the phone and, you know, call those people or host your classes, make products. And when you're a product of the product and you're using it and people see you using it, they're going to be curious what it is that you're using. And I, I just really am excited that I finally realized that I, not to compare myself to others and that it, it was, this is my journey and it's not going to be like anybody else's. And, you know, if I work hard getting to some place and I'm doing it my way, along with, you know, all these other things that, you know, you're watching, you take a good thing. If, if there's something else that somebody's using and you're like, that's a good idea, I'm going to try that. And it didn't work for you like it worked for them. Don't get down. Take it, put a twist on it and do something different. Um, being a product of the product is very big in my eyes because I know that anytime that I hosted a class and I was really excited about something like I made laundry detergent and I was so excited about it. You know what? I brought samples of it to class and I gave it away and I was like, just, just try this. This is going to be great. I used the household cleaner and I used lavender and all the other rest of the stuff you can buy from Walmart and it's so much cheaper. And my excitement just was contagious. <laughs> and then they're making their own laundry detergents and telling me how great and they loved it and so then I, you know, caught on like, hey, be a product of the product. Well, 
I need to start using something else and stop sticking with, you know, my hand soaps or my laundry soaps. And I was curious about the Oola oils. And so, you know, my next be a product of the product is trying out the Oola oils. And I'm going to give them a try. I actually have this, um, I ordered the Faith Oil here. And people tell you that it takes 21 days to create a habit. So if it takes 21 days, and I need a little more faith to get a little bit further, um, I think including God in everything is a great start to everything. So whatever point that you're at in this business, getting God first and, on, and you getting on board with what he's got planned, because what I have planned, he's got something so much better planned. So if I go along doing, if I go along and have the faith that he's going to make it work for me, he's going to make it work for me. Do I know how big yet? <laughs> no, I'm probably going to second guess myself the whole way, but I'm going to get there. Um, and as most of you know, I am a Disney fanatic. So if you just need a little bit of faith, you need a little bit of trust, and you probably need just a little bit of pixie dust.